prickly pear cactus may be either an erect or spreading round padded heavily thorn succulent cactus that grows throughout most parts of Texas and in a wide variety of soil types and elevations. The pads or leaves are actually modified stems with stiff strong spines originating from nodes oftentimes in a world arrangement. Prickly pear may reach heights of 10 foot or more at maturity or they may lay closer to the ground to form a huge thicket that limits access. Prickly pear is considered a number three choice browse plant but offers many benefits to a wide array of wildlife species. The plant offers excellent protective and nesting cover for small critters, particularly scaled and bobwhite quail. The plant itself produces excellent shade and concealment as well as elevating nesting sites for many bird species. The pads are full of water and the fruit or tunas are loaded with small seeds that quail and turkey relish. Food value of the pads are low, averaging 8% crude protein with the highest levels at 13% in the spring with new growth. However, the pads are high in energy and carbohydrate levels. The fruit ripens in the hottest of the summer months and offers excellent moisture and seed production for quail, turkeys, and small critters. Livestock may browse the new growth pads before the spines are sharp and dry and will tend to give older plants a wide berth. Some exotics and deer species will browse the pads, especially the more tender new growth, early or they may consume older pads during drought conditions. Of course, ranchers are known to burn the heavy spines off during severe droughts to provide better access and then just about all critters will readily consume it. Flowers vary from orange to yellow and are attractive to most pollinators in late spring. The fruit is a dark red to purple tuna that is full of water and seeds. Just about everything in the pasture will consume a ripened tuna so they typically do not last long for you to see. Prickly pear is likely the most iconic and well-known plant in Texas. People at an early age learn to respect its privacy and social distancing is very easy when you are near it. Prickly pear is also underappreciated for all the positive contributions it offers to such a wide array of wildlife species and how it may serve as an emergency feed for livestock in the worst of times. If you have enough fine fuel load underneath, prescribed fire can kill it entirely, but typically only top kills it. If the mature plant is top killed, the new growth will be susceptible to heavy browsing, so death may still occur in some instances. Chemical herbicides are very effective against this, especially when the plant is small or the herbicide is applied airily. Heavy equipment is not recommended as each broken pad is capable of sprouting roots and starting an entirely new plant. Whitetail and mule deer, pronghorn and desert bighorn sheep in particular, consume large volumes of prickly pear when conditions turn bad. Having some prickly pear available for emergency food and abundant seed production for the quail is always a wise use of pasture space, as long as it is controlled and kept in moderation, of course. As with Guayacan in South Texas, mature buck stomachs are typically full of prickly pear during the peak of the rut since it offers easy access, moisture, and a good source of quick energy and carbohydrates. As recommended to my clients and as I practice on my own ranch, I recommend removing prickly pear from the better soil areas in order to produce higher quality browse plants, yet allow it to grow in some more rocky and less productive soils because it is a valuable plant to have on the landscape. 